My heart has never sunk so low. I am going straight to elimination. Do not pass go. No chance I'm getting out of this one. Wow. I said get your game faces on, and boy, did you need it. But there are some beautiful looking game dishes. Shall we taste, Richard and Aisha? Yep. Should we start with the basement? Brace yourselves. This is a alligator nugget finished with a medley of the forest and then a beautiful quince puree. An alligator nugget? I mean, it's delicious. Would I have liked some ranch dressing? Sure, but I love these nuggets. Amazing way to be progressive about reinventing the way alligator can actually be enjoyed. I put my heart and soul into that dish, and I knew that I was gonna kill it today. I never thought I'd be talking in such a positive manner with Alligator. I thought whoever got this tonight would be going home. The person who cooked this is definitely not going home. They're delicious, they really are. This is a roasted pheasant finished with a caramelized fig. Yeah, I mean, I like that it's sort of a rustic, almost home-style presentation on it. Unfortunately, it's really searching for some sort of jus or sauce. This is take on a meatball with sausage and ground elk. Visually, it's not the prettiest dish, but it's got Swedish meatball sort of vibes, which I think is smart with elk. Meat's undercooked. The saving grace here is the sauce and those cherries, because it is definitely a winning combination. This one is wild boar, sat on a plethora of vegetables, garnish, white asparagus. To me, the boar's overcooked. All I'm getting is this dried herb flavor that's really overpowering this dish. It wasn't at all how I wanted it to come out. I'm frustrated with this individual because they are so talented. But tonight, they did not bring their A game. I know I could have done way better. Like, this is not the best dish I could have produced today. This is a wild rabbit served with sprouts, white asparagus, and a sort of creamy, lumpy mashed potato. Looks how it tastes, just bland and forgettable. And this is heavily under seasoned. I'm lost for words. The mashed potato is awful. The makers of a great dish, excuse the pun, but a rabbit in the headlights. I know I can do better than this. I don't know if it was the basement, but I'm in here just trying to do my best. But today just wasn't a good day for me. Richard. All right, should we head on over to the middle? Shall we? Please. We'll start right here with a pan-roasted ostrich filet with a creamy polenta. Smart move with the polenta. This is delicious. This is the type of dish that is comforting, right? This is a way to elevate a game meat, but it's not presented too preciously. I really appreciate that. Great job. It's either go big or go home. There's no reason to doubt me. We have here a pan-roasted goose with wild mushrooms uh, and a beet goat cheese puree. Goose is a tough bird to nail. It needs to be cooked more skin side down because underneath it's cooked on the flip side up, so that part's gone dry for me. I would have loved to see the skin a little bit more crispy, but the potatoes, the texture of potatoes were phenomenal. Okay, next up we have partridge and a pear tree. So this is a spatchcock roasted partridge. Love the glaze on top. Beautiful. Maybe just a little bit less cook on the partridge, but great color. We have here a garam masala dusted duck breast wow. with a fig and berry sauce and a parsnip black truffle puree. It's a really gorgeous plate. Wild duck cooked beautifully. The puree, absolutely. It's elegant, velvety, rich, delicious. Garam masala, truffle, the puree needs to be bottled, advertised, and sold. They want to bottle it up and sell it? I actually don't know what to say, <laughs> sorry. Delicious. In fact, delicious. Shall we move to the top floor? Yes, please. please. First up is our venison loin, roasted baby carrots, fondant potato, and a butternut squash puree. We need to put it back in the field. It's raw. What happened? So this chef actually had an accident in the kitchen and cut themselves. By the time they dropped the meat, it was uh, a little too late. What a shame. Besides it being a carpaccio and raw, the vegetables are under season. This competition is a very difficult playing field. You've got a makers of a beautiful fall dish. It's a dream. It's a shame it turned into such a nightmare. So right now, I just want to turn around and run out the back door. 